Welcome to the Swell Suite, everybody. Hey, guys. Hello. We are Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> it's thundering. Okay. Is it? Is it? Oh, good, because it is hot as Hades out there. It's it's awful. Oh, is it? Oh, it's I'm terrible cold today. Oh, oh my goodness. Cold. It's a chill in the air here. All right, mm-hmm. fall is here. I'm so oh, jealous. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, guys, uh, uh, what did you think about our meet and greet? We didn't get a chance to like a little recap a little bit. Oh, we haven't talked since then. We haven't. Hey. <laughs> oh, I loved think? it. It was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. It was nice to put yeah. faces with names and all that. Exactly. What, other people? Like, yeah, the listeners. I was like, oh, this is what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, we we do this on YouTube, right? Right. You <laughs> like, can you see enough. us. <laughs> you, and you could have seen us before. You could have been oh. seen us. But that you ain't is... well <laughs> Did anybody have a particular highlight of the night? Uh, the wine. That was a highlight. The wine was very good. Drinking. The wine was excellent. Right. My glass that... never went empty. Yeah, but that's, oh, that's okay. because well, uh, Claude and Larry like... Boone started popping bottles exactly. as soon as they walked in. That's Shout why. out Larry Boone! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Collections! <laughs> woo woo! Right. And we like to give a special shout out to mm-hmm. Exactly. They were like, happy hour business. sponsored by Larry Boone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Larry. <coughs> would also we also like to Claude for being a sponsor as well. We appreciate you both. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. That looks tasty, Leslie. And to and to okay, me. so hold what? on to Tanisha your wigs. drinking tonight? Hold on to your wigs. Okay. okay. This is, can you see it? Can you, can you, it's can you see what it says? Are you drinking a Savion Blanc? I'm drinking a Savion Blanc. Woo! Wow. Hold on. That might be, Hold right. on. That might be shocking as if I drink a Hold on. Long. <laughs> now, Can you, you got believe to, it? You got to explain no. this. Explain yourself. Fake news. Hashtag <laughs> fake news. Hashtag fake news. What is the world? She holding up an empty bottle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, I drink Sauvignon Blanc, but I don't drink Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Mm, so explain yourself. Why are you drinking Sauvignon Blanc? Okay, so... This is a Maryland wine. I just want everybody to see. Okay. It is um, Doden, which is in Davidsonville. And oh, this is a this is a perfect how I met the Swirl Suite. So it was. I'm cracking up because I said Dudon. <laughs> I said Dodon. I'm like Dodon. Dodon. Uh, Dodo. Go ahead with it. With- Okay. So, like circa circa 2012, I think, and it was the drink local, which they don't do that that much anymore. Yeah. And that's where I met Tanisha at the drink local, and they, since Marilyn was sponsoring it, they were pouring wines, and at that time. They only had this particular vineyard only had one wine Um, because you know how you go up to the table and you're like, well, what do you have? And they were like, we have Sauvignon Blanc. And I was like, what do you have? And we have Sauvignon Blanc. And like, oh, what else? Uh, We have the next table. Right. So I was like, you know, I'm like trying to be polite because I'm new to the industry. Um, So I tried it and it is... It doesn't taste like you eat a whole bunch of grass or smoking a whole bunch of grass. Um, What's it wrong is with a whole bunch of grass. Well, you know, cows <laughs> like grass. Everything is great. There's grass for everybody. Um, but it 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 is aged in um, steel barrels. It is very crisp. Um, it's subtle, so you have some like green notes in there, but it's not overwhelming. Actually, they have more of like grapefruit mm. kind of tangy notes in there that I like about it. But this is a Sauvignon Blanc I could stand behind. 
over oh, and wow. over again. And like it has that. not changed since now. Of course, they like have a whole lot more in their repertoire, but it has not changed since I've tried it since 2012. Well, I have it got is, to try the Sauvignon Blanc that has changed your heart. I'm taking your yeah. word for it. <laughs> So, uh, quick question: Where is uh, where is Davidsonville? What is that near? It's near Annapolis. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's in between Bowie and Annapolis. Oh, nice. Okay. So nice. That's yeah, it's near Pennsylvania. It's between Bowie and Annapolis, and it is only by Today. appointment. Oh, okay. And Zemois. And their tasting fees are twenty five dollars per person. How many wines do I get to try? Wait, wait, even us? Even us? We got to pay? Well, we'll talk about that offline. Okay, okay. But it's $25 per person if you were going. But you can't. They trying to make it exclusive or something? It's very exclusive. Did you get a bottle of wine if you, when you taste? No. $25. It is a, it is a, you get the full tour of the facility. Um. The winemakers there, you walk the grounds, you have a seated tasting. Okay. So do their club members pay twenty five dollars or do they have a club? They do have a club. They do have a club. I'm not sure how much the club members pay, but they do have a club. And then um once a month, and it I just so happened I have been sick. Stuck in the house. I was like, I need to get out the house. And it just so happened that they once a month they do this wine, very casual wine dinner type of thing for their club members and the people on their mailing list. And I went there this past Sunday. And they have like like a really nice menu. They have crab cakes, shrimp and grits. Oh. Um, I think they had lamb. I mean, it was a really nice, you could like choose that and then you get the wine. <clears throat> or you can bring food and you get the wine. That's included in the $25? <laughs> No, so for that you don't pay. You don't pay the twenty five dollar tasting fee because you pay for the meal. for the event, right? And it's for their members. And uh, actually, I did, I did not quite honestly. I didn't pay twenty five dollars for the tasting, and I did a tasting there this hmm. Sunday, and then I had bought the meal. Okay, okay. Hopefully, they're not okay. listening. They're gonna try to get that twenty five up out of you. Be like, oh yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> but yeah, it is very um. Here's <laughs> Bill. Huh? It is back in the cut. Okay. Wow. To a champagne house for less than that. Ooh, come on, come on! Everybody don't live in Paris. Come on. <laughs> oh no, but I'm just, that wasn't it. I'm just saying, like. No, I know what you meant. I'm fuck with you. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Maryland for twenty five dollars. Oh no! Don't do that. Don't be a snoop. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Virginia for twenty five dollars. Do be snoop. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you already know. I am beyond. Beyond. Hey. <laughs> Denisha, I agree with you though. <laughs> Man, y'all are terrible. Terrible. Right. Well, we know we we know who we not gonna be sponsored by. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Don Don not gonna sponsor us for nothing. Do Don, do Don be like, no. Don Don not coming out happy hour. Don Don not sponsoring us. Don Don not giving us no wine. Don Don is not messing with us. All right. So we have a special guest, D from Fel- She's a Oh my fellow- god, she hang up. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Is she left? <laughs> she was. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna, we gonna wait a minute. I'm gonna be oh, all right. Oh, there she is. There she is. I did that on purpose to see if I. Oh, now I can see y'all. Okay, okay. good. Perfect. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, girl? All right. I can't <laughs> with this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is the best one. Oh, good Lord. Oh. Oh, let me so, get my questions. Hold on. I know Sarita got questions. Hold on. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm not looking at those. Sarita already listened. I, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> so, we have a special guest today, D from Bad and Boozy Podcast. 
Welcome yeah. to the Hey, yeah. welcome to the Swell Suite. Right. Hi, thanks for having me. We we so do, do we even introduce ourselves today? We did we not. Uh, uh, <laughs> if, they don't, if they don't know our voice by now, they are not loyal listeners. And I mean, man, listen, what? figure it out. All right, they'll figure it out. <laughs> oh man. Mm. I'll no. Never mind. Anyway, D, introduce yourself. Well, I'm Dee. Um, I, I'm a co-host of That and Boozy podcast. Um, I've been doing a show for about almost a year. I was like, I'm like, oh my God, they let me podcast for like a whole year almost. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm from Baltimore, like working and living down this way in D.C. or whatever. And, you know, I just like, you know, wine and running and and I'm a... um. It's just me, so I'm just like a single auntie. So I'm just out here living my single Listen, auntie, shout out to single auntie. auntie life. <laughs> <laughs> Drink for the homies. What you do? I'm a single auntie. I'm sorry telling people. That. Listen, oh no, that's me. Like I got a whole Instagram with the nephews and nieces. That's just, it's just Aww. a fine auntie, and I'm just like. So I'm like auntie goes when I'm working out. I'm like I'm telling the kids like oh, y'all aunt is fine. I just want y'all to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a good first day of school. And, uh... Oh, no, I'm there for all that first day of school, oh, whatever, whatever. Oh, and then nice. I'm bringing my ass home <laughs> with the wine. Oh. My, my brother's so, like, are you going to be watching the baby with your flask? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Baby she, better not, she better not knock my glass over. Right now. Uh, over. Like, oh, oh, no. Glass, Before my glass. nephew was born, I had the... Um, I bought. I found like a little uh, kitty cocktail book. So I'm like, as soon as he gets older, we're gonna play bartender, okay? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, we're I'm gonna find one of them. <laughs> like, my niece gonna, is getting her birthday. Like, no, I said we're gonna count the money, but we're gonna play bartender, so he'll learn at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Wow, oh, no. it's I gonna be a situation. That. We're doing that. Yep. How about that? Look, gotta have a um, legal hustle when you grow up, boo boo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, D, speaking of right. speaking of wine, how did you get into wine? Um, let me see. Well, I, I'm sure all of us have like underage drinking like stories, but as far what? as being like, oh my <laughs> god, oh my god, no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> but I, I didn't get specifically into wine until like after college. I was like home from school and like you know I you know I knew like people drink wine, but. I'm from Baltimore, so my idea of wine was just, like, legit, like, winos on the street. Like, oh, what they drinking? I didn't know. Or it was, like, one end or the other. Like, either the winos on the street or that's what the fancy people drink at dinner or whatever. But then, like, my best friend was, like, would come home from college. And he went to UMES. Mm-hmm. And when he used to stop, whoever was giving him a ride home, he would, like, get stopped at, like, a little gas station or liquor store or whatever. And then he would bring home just, like, the cheap, like, probably like barefoot or something and um i was it's like probably that wine in the jug with the little handle at the not, top so i never had, so that carlos Rossi, i never been the I, never that <laughs> I never had that <laughs> one but it was one of those and i was like oh this not bad but i'm naturally curious so it went from like oh i think around that time Drake was like singing about Moscato in like a song or some shit. And I was like, oh, yeah. this, and Santa this Margarita is... by the leader. Uh. Yeah, so I was like, oh, this sounds good. But my natural curiosity was like, the words. <laughs> she be knowing. <laughs> so my natural curiosity was like, oh, it must be other stuff out here. So I would just like start going to other shops and asking more questions. And then I was like, oh, like you can taste stuff for free and learn this stuff. I was like, oh, this is cool. So it just kind of went from there. <laughs> huh. Or for twenty five dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you can go to an experience, a tasting experience of a lifetime. I like experience. Who's lifetime? Who's life is this? Who, who's well, life you can have a short life. Life. Okay, you can so do you? Uh, we got to tell her the inside joke now. <laughs> uh, okay, let me do the full presentation. Uh oh. Uh oh no! All right, call me back when you finish. A taste of it. Okay. This is the Maryland wine. You won't find them at the wine festivals ever. <laughs> Their tasting fees are $25. It is a an exclusive event for just you and your guests. You won't have to elbow people at the tasting bar because it will just be you. 
<laughs> Come on with this commercial quest. I was about right? to say, is this a commercial right? for you? <laughs> she had me. <laughs> right. I'm about seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> I want all of them. Oh my gosh. How many wines do they have in their lineup, though? In their line? How many? Um, now, I think they have eight. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, okay. they have eight. And their reds are, um, are pretty good. Oh, you gotta give me full whores though. How, how, how much is that? How much is that bottle? The... Which is this? That's the funny part. This bottle is twenty. I think it was like twenty-two. Hmm. Wow. Yes, so I know. It's really selling me on the experience, bottle. right? I, 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 <laughs> I ain't gotta taste everything. It's my bottle have. on my couch. And then, okay. and then, um, I think the highest it, price red is maybe thirty-eight dollars. Which some places that will name remain nameless, Black Ankle, is charging sixty five dollars a bottle. Listen, I legit was finna sneeze that out. I was finna- <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, what varietal are they charging for that red at thirty eight? I think it's a uh, um, Chamberson. Stop! No. Stop it! <laughs> Y'all are so wrong. Don't do it. Um, it's a blend. It's a it's a um it's it's like it's a I'm gonna be mad as hell if Champerson is in a thirty eight dollar bottle. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, no, it's it's not. no, it's, it's not. I don't even think they grow Champerson. Uh, and they're you know, of course they're one hundred percent of state. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. They don't grow Champerson. Oh, they they, oh, they real fancy. They in Maryland. They don't grow Champerson. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, back, to D. back to okay. D. Back to D. Sorry, D. No problem. You guys are entertaining. <laughs> right. I'm here for it. <laughs> like, well, I'm glad we you love you. Don't say nothing about nothing. Oh man. So, D, tell us about your podcast and how it's how it got started. So, I I talk a lot in general, and I just be running my mouth, but it's weird because I'm like really social, as y'all probably could tell when I got the chance. No, to not you. Guys. Oh, very. <laughs> But it's weird because I can be like super social, but also like I don't know if I like people. But people, but people were always like, you need to do a podcast. But I was like, talk about what? Like, like I like to just talk about stuff I like, but I don't want things to like feel like a chore or whatever. So I, I'm a avid podcast listener. But I was like, I don't want to talk about pop culture or whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. So I'm like, I don't, I don't want to really do one. And also, I'm like. I ain't the most technological savvy. I was like, who recording this? I got to look up to it. I'm not doing none of that. I used to tell my friends like years ago. I feel like, you. I feel you. Even when people was doing like that blog talk radio, I'm like, if you do all the things and tell me to show up, I can follow directions. So tell me to show up what I need to do. I'll do it. But so, so we got there. But, but anyway, so I met my, um, I actually met my co-host. Um, because we listen to a podcast called The Black Guy Who Tips, and they've been podcasting for like years, and they do they podcast like five days a week, and they made a fan group about three years ago on Facebook, and we and it's a bunch five of listeners days in the group. Yeah, five. and that that's their free content. They got a bunch of stuff behind a paywall. <laughs> I can't imagine what I do five wow. days a week. Well, that's a well, dumb, is it a job. long podcast? Yes, it's long form, and actually, I would recommend you guys li- uh, check it out if you get a chance, or if you um into like long form, because I was I was listening to kind of like talk radio, like on Sirius XM, and, and then I was um then I kind of switched over to them, and they um the 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 husband like the podcast is like what he does full time, and then the wife just shows up and she does, but she's amazing. Um, but yeah, I love them. They do like current events, whatever, play all these fun games. But so I met my co-host in her in the. Facebook fan group and it's a bunch of people from all around the country or whatever we did like a little local DC meetup just some listeners who was like oh we listen to the show let's meet up and me and my co-host would just like talk all the time and we we joke all the time like we like the same person probably our personalities are really similar we both Aries and stuff like that and then she actually started a different podcast maybe a, two years ago and occasionally just because of our friendship or whatever would ask me to fill in for her co-host and people would be like, oh, she funny when she come on there. And, and I don't necessarily cons- didn't used to think of myself as like, You oh, kicked the other girl funny. off the show? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. No, they still had that show. <laughs> they still she had gave that the show. people what they wanted. 
She gave the but listeners people, what they wanted. But people did like my commentary, but I really don't. I mean, I don't mind guesting here and there, but I don't care to have to keep up I mean, with day to day pop culture. It's off the show. That was her life. <laughs> oh my care. goodness. I Does she care speak to, to you keep... now? No, <laughs> I know the girl too. <laughs> I know the other girl. So, but so we had, we were, so I was talking to my co host, her name is Sosa. And she was, we was talking about like a whole other like wine thing. And we was like just throwing out ideas one day. And it was all like, well, well, you already come on my show sometimes. At minimum, we could like, we could just do a podcast. And I was like, oh yeah, I can talk. Like, I, that's what I do. I always like talking about wine. After I told y'all about how I kind of got into it with my friend, my best friend and stuff, I would go to wine tasting. I love the um, local Maryland wines or whatever, whatever. And I kind of became, I don't have no formal training, of course, but I became like that friend person that people was like, well, what should I get? Mm -hmm. And like, whatever. Like, I got like mad wine accessories and stuff over here and like collecting my corks and stuff. So I was like, oh, well, I can talk about wine. I'm like, I like that. And then I realized that I do want to like know more. So I was like, Oh, and I, I was like, well, we could do a wine related show and then maybe kind of like learn kind of like with the listeners and like make the wine more, more just kind of like a layman's term. Because people sure. just, uh, my, my experience with my, I'm from Baltimore, my friends, be, my family be like, what, what's that? <laughs> They'll be doing <laughs> And be like, just pull like, some absolute. You like, okay. right? They be like, what? What you drinking? But I do, but I do like enjoy small stuff. Like the first time I took my brother to wine in the woods, and now my brother is like, oh no, I'm not drinking such and such. And I was like, yes, I know that's right. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, that moment warm your heart. Yes. Oh. The, one of, so my brother is my oldest brother is thirty, but when my younger brother, um, one of his friends had like some thud at home or something, my thirty year old brother was like. Bro, we don't drink that. We gotta get you something better. I was like, yes. I was like, I like that. But yeah, so we just got Tell the idea. To level up. Yeah, so we got the idea to start the show last November. <laughs> Santa <Center> home. <laughs> Child. Child. And we got the idea. That's to right. Keep those endorsements open. It mm. went really fast though. Like we, we shut really them down. Had the idea. We really had the idea, like, oh, let's start the show. But you know how you kind of like think of something, and then you trying you trying to realize whether you're serious about it or not. Sure. Because uh-huh. we had all these grand ideas that day, and I was like, let me sleep on it because I might wake up tomorrow and be like, bitch, I don't want to do no podcast. I'm mad. <laughs> like, <laughs> but then, like a day or two later, I was like, she, we was like thinking of the name, and then next thing you know, she like she like went and got the make sure the Facebook and um. Like the Facebook, all the names was available and everything. And I was like, oh, I guess we're going to do this. And then we was like, I was like, oh, this should be a good time to start because it was right before Thanksgiving. So I was like, oh, this should be like a good holiday thing to do or whatever. And then we just kind of went from there. And it's kind of crazy to me that it was like, oh, we just put up a show. And then like um, right now we're part of a like a podcast, I guess you're going to say like collective uh, podcast. Mm-hmm. And we did, we posted it on our own for maybe like the first five or so episodes. But we because we in like this little, I guess, sector you're, of you're like in a, You're Twitter. in a network? Oh. Yeah, well, you know, like a bunch of, uh, we follow some of the same people on, on Twitter. So on CSPN, that's the network we're on. We had already listened to some of their podcasts, but I didn't realize how many of the hosts from those podcasts who followed us on Twitter. Because when we was just like putting teases out, oh, we're going to do this. It was like maybe after our fifth episode, they asked us to join like their little their podcast group. And I was like, oh, this is this is crazy, but it's fun. So my thing was just like, as long as it's fun and I enjoy talking and learning and like l- growing with the listeners, then we're just going to go from there. And we'll just keep doing it until we don't want to do it no more. <laughs> and in the meantime, we was looking for like, oh, got to be some other black women. That that talk stuff and then eventually we found y'all. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and that's it. It's just us and y'all. That's it. Because <laughs> that, I was it. pretty, that's pretty, it. pretty much. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so is well, yeah, your? Um, I got started. So is your co-star? Is she into wine as well? So she is into wine. She probably. Her, we joke all the time because when we would talk about wine just in general, she's very like strong headed and opinionated. She used to be like, her, she go, I'm racist with my wine. I only drink white. And I used to be like, girl, well, oh. whatever. Ain't nobody got time. She used to say all the time. <laughs> A whole lot of good wine. <laughs> But then, as we start in the show, they're kind of like open her mind to trying different stuff. So, one segment of our show is our simple spit segment. 
and she would try different red wines. So I I had to remind her maybe like ten episodes in, like how many red wines did you taste that you like now? I mean, mm-hmm. um, I thought you ain't like red wine. <laughs> like I'm like, listen, did she tell y'all she ain't like red wine? So it's been kind of fun watching her. Um, Yellow hit change watching her lives. change. Right? <laughs> I love it. Change lives. <laughs> Because one it's like you just had just one thing. You got to put that on your resume. You got to put that on your resume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So right my now. co-host, she's she's into wine now more, and um, she's she's still not as into beer as me because that's what, we decided not to make the title too wine specific because we like to be a little um, sophisticated ratchet. So we wanted to make sure we um, <laughs> include. Make room for other liquor shenanigans, as we like to say. <laughs> I love it. That's love fair. It. <laughs> that is fair. If we did a um, if you want some real ratchet around Christmas time, it, it was early, maybe episode eight. We did, we we did an episode drunk with our friends. We was just drinking lime maritas. Oh yeah. Oh, I that'll been do sick it. Arita. We I called it out. I would have been sick. Arita. We <laughs> called it out. That juice episode. <laughs> That'll do like, it. I've, right. I've got the runs episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Susan. Hey, Tanisha, that have been on the run tour for you. Oh, on the run. <laughs> so we like to be a little, you know, we like to be a little classy with the wine, but sometimes you got to like rem- Fun, a, little right, a little hood, a little fun. <laughs> just a little something. Like, yeah, and just in case you don't have a corkscrew, like you can drink something else. You know, mm-hmm. wine in wine in a can. Oh, so, yeah, uh, shout out to the wine in the can. How um <laughs> how do y'all come up with all of your um your topics and your segments? Because I've listened, and it's really cool what y'all what y'all come up with. Mm-hmm. It just kind of um. I it was pretty organic. We, at the early on, we kind of like did a bunch of brainstorming. We keep our little little Google Drive with it, it, the, for notes if something kind of like spark out mm. mine. But at, like maybe the the initial episode, we wasn't like a hundred percent sure about how we was going to do the segments. But I think us being such podcast listeners, we just kind of thought about what we like to hear and wanted to kind of be be that or not be that depending on what we like and what we don't like and um then i don't i don't remember which episode we like officially had like i guess the structure of the show but it was like we knew we wanted to like taste some different things or whatever whatever and um as far as the topics um we was like well wait we should do some basics because a lot of our friends and people that listen to us like we have um friends that listen that like i don't even drink wine but y'all are entertaining or um uh, i'm a big wine maker but i you know might use what we talk about and pick something out for a friend or whatever so we just we just try to think of the like the not so typical wine drink, but they might be interested in and like that we might be interested in um whether it's like accessories um and maybe a little bit out the box like um the episode that we did that might have been out the box like we did um like oh or or kind of like when y'all remember when um LeBron James and them did that they did that episode on I mean they did that article on like they was like oh, about basketball players the basketball yeah. so mm-hmm. I was like I was like oh that's interesting like it's playoffs mm-hmm. let's do that yeah or, mm-hmm. um we black and like Papa so we, like, we gotta do a fried chicken a Papa episode well <laughs> of like, course. yeah <laughs> of course and that goes you know with what? champagne if anybody's wondering that goes with champagne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Royal Farms. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Put the Royal. So we did an episode. We did a, we did a fried chicken episode. So it was like whatever we did was kind of fun or whatever, liquor related, wine related. Keep it a little educational, a little fun. But we, I always tell people, like, listen, I'll be knowing everything. I'll be knowing shit. I'm learning with y'all. So here, mm. this is what I found. <laughs> oh, and then we got the idea. Um, yeah, if you saw that, I mentioned um, the app, the delectable app, like a, mm-hmm. a maybe like a year long before, maybe a year or two ago, because I would out of my own um, to help myself, I would be like, I need to be like remembering which wine I drank when I'm going back and look. So mm-hmm. I was using that app, and I was like, I was telling her. Then it rem- I remember, like, oh, we should probably just use this app. <clears throat> and then I just, and then me and her started using it. And then we was like, oh, we. I'm a social media junkie anyway, so I was like, let's just tell listeners to follow us on the Delectable app. And it was funny because when we started using the Delectable app, the um, 
the people who run that app noticed us posting about it. So like uh I think it was June and July, they um they like uh, earlier this year they reached out to us and asked us to upgrade our um our account our user accounts on there. Like and then they did they put posted us as like the featured users on the app and I was just nice. like hey, this but That's I was cracking up like I was cracking up like somebody listen to me like, <laughs> <laughs> like I still be looking like what 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 you talking about? so I don't <laughs> but, I don't use the app so what do you what what's involved in the app so it's just like um it's just like when you scan well it's it's kind of it did, you can use it I was mostly using it to kind of like post like a review to so i remember what i thought about the wine mm-hmm. but if you like follow each other on the app you can you can see my reviews of the wine my ratings or whatever or okay. you can just use it in a store to like scan and see what other wine pros or your friends thought about something so some my, um i know so so uses it sometimes before she buys something because at first i wasn't using it before but every now and then i might be like oh what did other people on this app say about this or whatever and then sometimes i just scroll through and see what other people been drinking or whatever and then you can like share it easily to your social media so if i write a review or if i every periodically i might go through and like see something that we've been drinking to share to our social media or something like that so it's been good I, we had a couple and of you can like, follow people using it mm-hmm. yeah 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 yeah, so we was we was using it to kind of like encur- do to keep up with ourselves, but also encourage our listeners to friend us so we can kind of like huh. see what they drinking or they can see what we drinking. Because 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 I might mention one wine on the show, but I might have drank a bunch of other ones that I might not mention on the show. So I'm like, oh, just go check that out or whatever. But it, that's been fun. That was an unexpected like thing that kind of worked out, but that was like fun for the show. So it was just like we might try something different. If it's if it ain't broke, then. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. I love yep. that stuff. So what would you say your favorite episode has been so far? Um honestly, probably so I told you we met because of the black guy who tips and um podcast and the one co host, um uh Karen, the wife on the show. Like I've always like really loved her. She's just such a genuine, sweet person. I got to meet them when they did um, um uh when they did like an event here in DC. And um since March was Women's History Month, I was like, oh, we should just reach out to like some black woman to be on the show. So I'm like a shot shooter. I slid in her DMs on Twitter and was like, you think you might want to be on our show? And she was like, sure, whatever. I low key was like. Oh shit, she said that. like because they, they got like they they listen to people big or whatever. But so when she was on our show, it was really good because we because we talked we was talking wine and um it was funny because maybe last year they had they had like a local they're in North Carolina and they had a local wine sponsor and they did this um they did this they they would they would drink the wine and do this wine and white people news segment segment and it <laughs> and it used to be. Ho- it used to be so funny. And she would be like, girl, she'll be like, I don't know shit about wine, but I got this wine and I got this cheese. So I used to be cracking up like, oh, she's trying to figure it out. So I thought that was funny. <laughs> so we was like, we should have you on the show. So we kind of, I think we kind of play um, some games. And then one part of the show, like the show went kind of long. It just kind of turned into like a, a black girl magic thing. And it was like, oh my God, I love her. She's like our fairy pod mother. But yeah, that's probably one of my own. <laughs> 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 So I was like, yeah, that's probably my favorite episode. And then, um, I don't know. I know I'm always getting caught saying something crazy on the show. <laughs> but, I can't believe it. But it's okay. When people tweet me, I'm like, hold up. I didn't even listen to the episode. What I saw? But, yeah, but that's probably my favorite episode. Wow. That's my favorite episode. That is cool. That's cool. Y'all have any other questions about the podcast or to deep before we get into our rapid and randoms? Rapid and random. <laughs> what is um I will say, what is well we'll ask, what is something like that has really surprised you? Like whether it be about wine or liquor or something that has surprised you since you've been doing the podcast? Um probably well, let me see, look, wine itself. I mean, I was like, it's like, I mean, I know it's like, okay, I like red wine, but I was like, oh, it's just so many, like so much more. And I, it, it's, been, it's been making me more curious, not even just the, the wine and tasting, but like learning more about just like the education and the, 
like just the industry in general because i was just like where the black people or like not even where the black people or like learning more about like the distribution channels and Mm -hmm. just so that's been surprising like like even when like i went to a winery here in maryland recently and the guy was like oh we get the we buy the um, grape juice and not the grapes. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So it's just like, just I've just been surprised at like how much more it is that I don't know, which makes me more encouraged to yeah. keep on, just keep on asking questions. So I just be my same old nosy self. I'm just all in your business. Hey, so did you buy, so how did you do this? How did you do that? <laughs> well, luckily and, with wine, you'll never have to stop doing that. Because exactly. it's always It's always something else to yeah. know. And, I and think when you think like, oh, I know a lot. And then you be like, yeah, look at how much I know. Then you be like, wait, what? Exactly. I think that's what's really um I think that's what's really and that's the thing that's really encouraging. And then I was all I'm also surprised it's not wine related, but like our relationship that we built with the um ooh, our relationship that we built with the um CSPN um network. I'm like, oh, it's like other podcasters and other people that like pay attention to us. That's it's kinda nice to have like a little a little family of people to highlight. it. So, That's cool. And you guys have events, right? So, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw on Instagram. Y'all had a brunch you or did. something. So, we did a, um, so my co-host, I didn't mention, she's in California. So, for the first three years, we, like, been talking all the time. We never met in person. But her son lives out here in Maryland with his dad. So, um, we've met finally when he graduated middle school in um, May. So it was like, we're going to be in the same state. And we know um, because of because of our friends from the Black Eye Who Tips Facebook group and then other just internet friends, I was like, well, there's people out here that know both of us, so we should just host like a brunch or something. And, I was, and it, we, it wasn't too big. It was maybe about... 15 or so people but I thought it was cute like oh y'all coming to the brunch like oh that's cute or whatever (laughs) and my co-host is like man actually like we gotta get a snapchat filter and I'm like good whatever let's do it like I I, it was like I'm all for it so um since that was kind of a success we um we decided to do um shout out to the black guy who tips because they're having a live show in Charlotte later this month so we'll both be in town in Charlotte so I wasn't even thinking about it, but people were sitting us up like, y'all doing another event? And I was like, oh, I guess I guess we got to get the people what they want. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> what they want. so while we're in Charlotte, we're going to um, do like a little happy hour event, like after, like maybe the next day after the, the live show for that. So, yeah. So hopefully it'll be like more things to come. And I'm like mad social. So it's like anybody else who, if you just like around here and you like I'm like when I was at Wine in the Woods this year I was like well I'm gonna be at Wine in the Woods if, on a podcast if anybody gonna be there I'm gonna be there just say hey mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of cool <laughs> right just say hey and buy me a glass <laughs> uh, listen they know it they know it like, and, add that in. Like, and buy me a glass and when like, what you, you drinking whatever you buy me. when we posted the link to our Facebook I mean to our PayPal when a, maybe like in December around Christmas time and around my birthday when people sent us money to get wine I said oh what what? Oh, one so girl... we just need to get in our cash app. Oh, okay. One, yeah, one girl hit us up, was like, oh, I want y'all to try this. Da, 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 da. And I was like, I looked at that one bottle. I said, girl, I don't got no money right now. I can't even do that. She said, y'all got a PayPal. I'll send you the money. Yes, we did. Send this cash app. But, but I was like, this is fun, but this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was fun. That is amazing. Yes. <laughs> Girl, sweet people, we uh, here for you. <laughs> <laughs> hit my cash app. Listen, ain't no shame. Like you want me, you what you want? You want to? Um, we uh, we say uh, you trying to put some put some respect on these wine reviews. We got you. <laughs> 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 what you want me to buy? I do it. I do it. <laughs> right, my birthday in November. Okay, listeners. <laughs> that's what I'm saying I love, it don't hurt to ask like oh my birthday exactly. you want to put <laughs> that's exactly. awesome alright <coughs> well so and now we are at the part of the show where we ask you everything random and rapid yes um, <laughs> so here we go You got. oh wait did you say what you're drinking I am drinking a California Vionet Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I did stop in the store because I was like, I can't. I was like, I'm going to be on that show without having some wine. <laughs> and I was like, I got to stop in the store on my way it up. It happens. I be drinking water. <laughs> so. And Tanisha, yeah. what you drinking? Because you're I drinking remember. too, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I was. So what you drinking? Drinkin'? What you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking a red wine. St. Shinian. St. Shinian. Okay. From um, Languedoc. So a blend of uh, Syrah yeah, and Grenache. Yeah, Languedoc. So, Yes. yes, nice. I was it's trying to decide if I was going to go white or red, but I think the heat earlier mm-hmm. in my brain, even though I was like, it's going to be cool in my house, my heat, my brain was like, just get white. <laughs> I don't know. And it's cool here. So I'm like, oh, red. And it's also what I had. So there's that. I know that's right. Shout out to what you have. <laughs> <laughs> I will drink what, I, what you got. <laughs> Without having to stop, this is what we do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay. IPA or lager? IPA for sure. Okay. Pancakes uh, or waffle? Oh, did you need? Do you want to explain why or? Uh, it's not. It's no. I mean, I'm a bad person, but okay. as crazy as I, as crazy as people think I am for liking IPAs, I love them. <laughs> Got it. All right. Uh, pancakes or waffles? Um, pancakes. Hmm. In a cast iron skillet with a little crust on the oh, edge. Yes, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, God. <laughs> yes. If you don't make it with the crust, you don't really love if it. If they not crispy on it, yeah. Yeah, okay. You need a yeah. gas stove and a cast iron skillet. Yes. My dad used to make the best pancakes like mm. that. Mm, 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 yeah, mm. I, I'm low-key excited because my, um, my mom is no longer with me, but when I make the pancakes... I was like, my brothers say they came out just like mommies. I'd be like, oh. yes, I did it. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, rooftop or fire pit? Dang, one or the other? One I'm like, can't the, the fire pit be on the roof? Be on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because that's not a fire hazard. That's- <laughs> but um, since I'm going to assume the fire pit is happening in the fall, I would have to, t- I would have to take the fire pit. I'm a I'm I'm sucking I'm a sucker for like a little cool mm-hmm. crisp evening with yeah, a right. sweater and a glass of red. Yeah, that's yes. perfect. <laughs> Cava or prosecco? Um, yeah, Cremant. <laughs> Nobody got champagne. Cremant. I take Cremant. What kind of bootleg is that? Where we at? It's and one um, of the other. It's one of the other. I'm gonna say Cava. Okay, nice. I'm gonna okay. say I don't like the selection. I'm gonna say we need to go to another restaurant. Uh, <laughs> I don't oh like this menu. <laughs> so, do you have a favorite bar in DC or Maryland that you like to um, go to? I want to, but I, like I don't be going out as much. But <laughs> but now that y'all put me onto Dio Wine Bar and it's around the corner from my job, I'm gonna be there. Okay. But uh, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I don't have. Shout a, out to Dio. Shout out to Dio. I don't Dio. have a particular bar. Like, I'm, normally I'm like just drinking. Although, I mean, although, I mean, they're not sponsoring us. But I did find this little, um, right in Beltsville, Maryland. Old line. Um, it's, yeah, well, I found mm-hmm. Old Line and yeah. I, be go- I be going there all the time since I moved yeah. around here. Old Line is nice. Old Line is really like, nice. I'm like, oh, I was, I was like, oh, let me just go get these, this, these brunch potatoes and. And some mimosas, and then shop on my way out. Uh, yeah, yep. I like them. O line is great. Yeah. That's the one that's in the old Circuit City. Yeah, uh, and then in Baltimore. Well, yeah, this DC. Do I in Baltimore? It's not necessarily a bar, but I love this. It's a tequila bar <laughs> restaurant in um, Fells Point called Blue Agave, and I go there all the time when I'm home. Mm. Yeah, right. they got a good happy hour. They got a spicy guava margarita. That's Ooh. really good. <laughs> mm. Is that happy hour? Those are just such magical words, aren't they? Aren't they? <laughs> and they do happy hour on Saturdays too. So when I need a sibling, oh. when, I, when I need a sibling date, I'm like telling my brothers like, y'all want to meet on Saturday? Mm. <laughs> and they be like, not again, girl. <laughs> <laughs> they like this girl always drinking. They laugh if I've got my flesh somewhere with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so this next question is pretty much for everybody. Mm-hmm. What product would you stockpile if you found out that they were no longer going to sell it? Any product? Any product. Hmm. Well, since I'm greedy, the first thing I thought about was Old Bay Wings. Oh. 
How about <laughs> like, that? How about that? Right. It's like old bay. Like well, I'm like old bay wing or season in ceiling. general. Like, like if they bay. say we not selling no more old bay seasoning, okay. I'm hiding all the old bay seasoning. Okay. Right. Like a true Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. Oh, a product. Mm. I wish I would have went downstairs to get mine, but mine is, you know, the uh, the champagne stopper, champagne stoppers. Mm-hmm. Those you don't find anywhere, um, everywhere. So if I found out they weren't gonna make those anymore, I would probably buy boxes and boxes of them. And as they say, just drink it all. Why do you have left over? <laughs> I like that. Just drink it all. True. Why do you have leftovers? This is also true. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? <laughs> That's right. Like, like you see, I had to lean into the camera. What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Please just drink it all. Glennis, Tanisha, Put anything? Your life together. Like y'all ain't got no favorite pen or notebook or mm. bath products. Mm. Well, um, one of my favorite candles is a Valspar candle, and it's an ebony and peach scent. It's a phenomenal candle. Mm. And where do you get it from? Well, this is what is a problem, because I had Uh-oh. locked up on them. You be buying it off of eBay. Nordstrom stopped selling that mm. particular scent. I bought the first one at Salamander Resort. Uh, oh, oh. And I bought like four or five of them. I just kirked out, right? Then I found that Nordstrom's had them. It's like, oh, I don't have to stock up. I went back to Nordstrom. I was like, you got all these. Wait, where my scent? So mm. now I'm online searching for them. Oh, so- hate that. You'll find them. If anybody finna find some online. But the scent, they have a it's million nice. of, you know, they have a lot made by the company, but that particular scent. Well, what was yeah. the scent that you said? It's an ebony and peach, ebony and, and whatever peach. What, whatever they got in the ebony piece. I'm about to say, what does ebony smell like? Mm. At girl, right. mm. ebony it's, is uh, that scares me because I be thinking of um, when I think ebony, my dirty stuff think porn. I be like, what does oh, it smell like? My God. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> I don't even listen. Listen, oh, they can't I have the, the wacky I hang around, like, I hang around, around the wrong body. people. It's probably like that. I hang around the wrong people because it's horrible. That's the only time I hear Ebony is when people talking about. No. <laughs> well, uh, we got to expand your horizons. <laughs> <laughs> you just candle did. wax. She's like, you did. You, you did. You just did. You put her. You now put her on to candle wax. No, so but now but you damn, know no, there wait, are some people who wait, use hot candle wax. <laughs> you went straight to the point. You ain't even get the Ebony magazine. Like black. Right. No, I <laughs> told you I hang around the wrong people. <laughs> I don't, she did. I don't even, she I don't did even quantify her movie. statement. The with funny that. thing is, I don't even watch porn. But when I think about it, that's the only time I ever see it. They had to love us, Craig. If you watch that, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I don't even love. With the word ebony, oh that's unbelievable. Oh. So I was thinking, oh, it smells like like some pretty scented black women and peach. That's and what peach. I was thinking. And black women, smell, you know, we amazing. So so, I mean, uh, so it smells like a black woman that got on like some peach lotion for Bath and Body Works. Probably. No, that's, <laughs> like, that's what black women say. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. You not what's that sparkling peach from Bath and Body Works? <laughs> <laughs> Just get that and spray it on yourself. Just get that candle. <laughs> Put some of your natural essences in there. Put some of your natural essences in. I love a good candle, though. <laughs> yeah, I do. I finally got introduced to candle warmers last year. I was like, why didn't I have these things Stop before? It. Yeah, <laughs> those things are great. Yeah, I love it. Tanisha, did you I think have... of anything? No? I have a stockpile? No, because I'm so used to, like, not having stuff I like all the time now. Mm. Mm. Oh, dang. Okay. Did you get a chance to go to Target while you were here? I did. I mean, not like I want it, because mm-hmm. I need to go to Target alone, I see. And, like, with uh, an unlimited amount of time, mm-hmm. I can't be timed in Target. It just needs to It needs to be me and Target. <laughs> <laughs> got, got it. Got it. Brown and break. <laughs> but, I mean, as much stuff as I brought back with me, and my suitcase was grossly overweight, so... Yeah, I, I got enough. 
<laughs> All right. Next question. All right. So, D, this is for you. Okay. It's 10 o'clock on a rainy Friday night. You get the hey, big head text. A visit is arranged within minutes. Okay. Within minutes. Honey. What are you? Within what minutes. Are you, within minutes. It gets fast. It's fast. It's okay. 10 o'clock. You ain't got all night. All right. You're right. So, you getting ready. What are you mm-hmm. sipping and what song are you playing? Well, you said if the if it was a if it's Friday, but mm-hmm. it was arranged within minutes, I I must be about to take some shots because I got to get ready fast. <laughs> right, you ain't got time. <laughs> I ain't got time. Right. So I'll I got some. I listen. probably got some shots with some bullet bourbon. That's probably nice. what I'm taking. And I'm a hundred percent listening to somebody's '90s R&B and then and and, and, and and like dancing around the house. So I'm getting ready. <laughs> Okay. Anybody in particular? Like, you yeah. got an artist in particular? Oh, I thought anybody in particular uh, who sent the text. I'm like, dang, oh you get personal. That's what I was about to say. I'm about, 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 about to say, I ain't got no hoes. I'm saying, if anybody, if y'all got some uh, listeners, y'all you know hit me up. Me, my damn so bad. But um, <laughs> let me see, an artist, probably, um, when I'm going to listen to 90s. Well, you know, recently. It's the nineties or like maybe late two thousand. Because l- recently I was listening to some old Raheem Devon. And I was oh, like, yeah. ooh, he. Mm-hmm. I was like, ooh, he a little. Oh and yeah. You know, he got that one song that I don't know if you ever put on the album. He got that video. He that she single video. It's like she single, and I forgot what beat he used. But I was like, oh, he be getting real um mm-hmm. pretty on his song. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look up the YouTube joint. I think it was out maybe like maybe like. 2011 or something, but I was like, yeah. I don't think this was never on no album. But he was simulating <laughs> all the sex, and I said, Oh, on the video, this is oh, he real suggestive. Oh, he's yeah. very suggestive. If yeah. you follow yeah. him on Instagram and see like his stories or his live, I'm like, Dude, you just really, you just oh. gonna turn it, press record, and then listen I to have not even followed him. I don't follow that many celebrities, so I might have to go follow him, but he was <laughs> suggestive. But he liked this little, though. I'm tall, he liked this little. He's so very like, short. Yeah, he's I don't want to. Like I'll take the music. He can keep his him to himself. But <laughs> <laughs> that's like, you gotta be this tall to ride this. Ride. I've seen him at a club once. Him and Ray Rice about this little. Ray Rice ain't tall. I was like, I saw all them Ravens in the club. I was like, uh, uh-uh, y'all, they short. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Rice, like, I'm still finna smack you though. All right. Oh, so, right. <laughs> next. <laughs> Wait. 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 Tanisha, did you say you got to be this tall to ride this ride? <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> Listen, that's <laughs> accurate. I'm just discriminating. They got, they just going to have to live. That's funny. Listen, unless you can stand on your wallet. Oh, that's true. Sure. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I might sing a different tune. <laughs> Listen, all the tunes, I'll sing them, okay? <laughs> you tell me what tune. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our last question. If you could be okay. a guest on any TV show or podcast, which one would it be? Well, podcast would be. Well, easy. we just fulfilled her dreams because oh she's a guest God. on this one. So I mean, bam, y'all did. I was like, okay, like, you free what? Thursday. I was like, girl, let me clear my calendar. I'm good. I need my co host up. Like, oh, girl, you can't make it. I'll tell them about you. We can do it later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I love. <laughs> <laughs> she I said, oh, I'll, <laughs> I'll, like, I'll tell them about you. I said, listen, hopefully, I said, hopefully we can, still in we my can heart. do some kind of mashup or something later. We would love to have y'all on our show or do something later. I was like, so I was like, but we, I, you know, I just met them. I'm, we, we friends now. They my girlfriends <laughs> in my head. So, we, <laughs> so but, um, aside from you, um, we haven't been guests on the Black Eye Who Tips yet, but I'm speaking it into existence. Okay. Because okay. we're going to speak that with you. We're going to stand and agree. We are going to be on there. And I, and not only because we love them, but they really are the reason why I know so many other like smaller Black podcasts. Because I was like, oh, all these Black podcasters like to call the Chitlin Circuit. Like, oh, we all yeah. out there. We did it. <laughs> like the shit was taking their podcast. So I'm like, oh, it's other people out here talking about different stuff. But yeah, I definitely would love to um be on their uh be on their show. TV. I don't know about TV. Okay. 
I don't even hardly watch that much TV, but um, I'm gonna get on that one day. One day, uh, maybe um, maybe if they maybe if they do an insecure East Coast edition, mm. put me on that Easter. <laughs> <laughs> put me on Easter. <laughs> I love oh, it. Yeah. I love it. So before we go, tell everybody where they can follow you, Bat and Boozy, social media, website, all that. Okay, so you can find everything on our website, um, Bad and Boozy Podcast dot com, and that's spell out the um, word and um, on social media, same thing, Bad and Boozy um, and Twitter, and then you can just search Bad and Boozy Podcast um, to follow us on Facebook. You know, we like to keep stuff low. You know, like we 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 try to post something like daily. Um, when the show's coming out, um, we actually do have, um, when the episodes come out, we have a little, uh, with our network, we got like some premium content that's behind our Patreon. So if you want to hear like our shenanigans before and after the show, you can um, subscribe there too. And then I, you can find me at brains and buns. That's been my favorite name forever. <laughs> the letter N on Instagram and Twitter and um, yeah, just follow me there and I'll be acting up. But yeah, you can follow us, the show, and um, so-so um, if you um, my co-host, well, if you go to the show page you'll see both our names tag, tag there. But yeah. You know, she's a Cali girl, I'm Baltimore girl, so we ain't got no sense. <laughs> I love right. it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This was thank so you. fun. Thank this you. Was so fun. Thank you for having me. This has been good. Great. Yeah. <laughs> that wraps up the show. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Swirl Sweetie Podcast. Follow us individually. Um, follow the podcast. All of us. <laughs> yes. they follow-, all actually. Yes. follow the podcast on wow. our- We are on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. Hope you start watching. We'll see. Bye. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.